welcome to these examples. I just want to illustrate the kind of differences between uh, true bearing, quadrant bearing, and horizontal uh, reference uh, with respect to giving directions for vectors. So as you kind of would be studying vectors, I did an introductory uh, vectors video kind of for um, grade 12 students uh, up above there or for anyone who's kind of going in to uh, anything to do with, for example, physics or mathematics. Now, these particular uh, examples um, do make the assumption that you know the difference between bearing, uh, so true bearing, quadrant bearing, and horizontal reference, although you probably can deduce it from the examples and you can watch that link that I pointed out before going into these uh, particular examples. So there's four examples here. So there is an example for a vector, which is basically displacement. There is a velocity vector, and then there's an acceleration vector. I guess there's a couple of displacement vectors there that we have. So I want to be able to graph these um, vectors. So I'm going to do it one by one, and then there's different ones. So the first thing that I want to point out is, um, let's take a look and see which ones are true bearing, which ones are quadrant bearing, and then which ones okay, are a reference to a horizontal. So anytime, okay, so we do see right here, so this is a bearing of zero 30 degrees, um, this would be a true bearing um, type of way of describing a direction. The second one that we have, so it is at, okay, so then right here, so this is north 45 degrees west, this would be an actual quadrant uh, bearing way of describing a direction. And I guess so will number C or part C. So this is also a quadrant bearing. And then the last one, this one is kind of a horizontal reference. And you can see that word horizontal in there. So how would we be graphing these? Well, we certainly do need some kind of a plane. So I'm going to kind of graph them one by one in here. So let's put it up. So here is ideally, okay, we're going to try to see, okay, if we can make this work. And so this is my X and Y. Uh, so the first one, so this is going to be my north, okay, direction. So I'm going to do this one first. I'm going to switch my color in here. So 2.5 kilometers at bearing of 30 degrees. So this means that we're going to be shifting in this direction. So we're going to be going in this direction right here. And we got to shift over 30 degrees from the north. So this is going to be something within here. Now I'm going to maybe the first thing that I'll do is, okay, so I'll have now, of course, okay, so this is 45 degrees, right? So we would have 45 degrees kind of something along in here. Okay, so now we can be very accurate in here if we wanted to, um, but I hope that I get and give you the actual gist of graphing this out. So now I need 30 degrees away from the north. Okay, so this is not obviously if that is 45, so it's going to be less than that by 15 degrees. So it is most likely somewhere along in here. That's about 30 degrees, right, right there. And I am estimating this, you know, I can make it definitely much, much nicer. Um, so this is going to be 30 degrees. Now I need to draw the vector. So the vector is 2.5 kilometers. So I need some kind of a scale in here um, that I would be doing, you know, so you can, for example, if you were doing this in terms of scales, you know, you can say that maybe one centimeters is equal to one kilometer. Okay, on our scale, and I guess you know we won't be putting equals there. We're going to put the double dots because it's a ratio in between one and the other, so it's just proportionally scaled. And now you know, let's assume you know so that we would have because we we're going to need um, our scaling factor. And let's say you know this was one centimeter, this is two centimeters, three centimeters, four centimeters, and so on. So what I would like to do is, as I draw this out, okay, if that's my scale. Then what I'm going to do is, all right, so I got to draw two and a half centimeters, so it's easy to do it horizontally. Now I can take this, right, and I'm going to shift it. So I'm going to shift it back in here, um, and I'm going to make it so that it is on my kind of directly, okay, on my line right there. 
there we go and I got to shift it back into the origin so that is my vector now I can remove okay these two right here and that would have been my vector so this is now label so let's put an s and this is 2.5 right kilometers actually you know we don't really need to put that because we have that in the question but I can put that and label it as s right there so that would have been the first one right here all right so now moving over kind of the second example so this one is a little bit different so we're going to be shifting in here so this is okay i'm going to remove this okay from here let's kind of start it from scratch again right there um, this is a 100 meters per second all right so 100 centimeters per second so i can i'm going to do this so 100 let, let me make this you know 50 meters per second let, let's make this 100 meters per second 150 meters per second okay so all of this is in meters per second in here um this is going to be 200 so that's going to be my scale now i am going to be looking for 100 meters per second so i need something that long okay so that would be my magnitude i'm going to put in my scaling in here so within here so i guess you know within here so i have one two three four all right so this is four so one is so let's you know let's make one of these so one of these right here so this is half a centimeter let's say this is one centimeter i'm going to say one centimeter is equal to 50 meters per second so that is my ratio in here that I can drop. And now I need it starting from the north, so 45 degrees. So this is going to be a little bit easier to do because 45 degrees is kind of halfway through. So we're moving in this direction right there. So it's from the north, 45 degrees to the west right so west is going to be to the left okay east is to the right and i have to take this right here and now shift it over so i'm going to kind of shift it over okay in this way there we have it so there we go and now i'm going to bring it back onto the origin i'm going to remove this and this would have been now labeled so that's going to be this is 45 degrees right there so there you go you have now graphed the second one right here and this is based on the quadrant bearing so the first one was on the true bearing so that's number or sorry that's part b now part c um, this one is another one so this is four centimeters in length all right so this one we can actually pretty much do on one go so let me remove this clean it up so I have a nice clean slate all right, so there we go. So this is gonna be probably one to one. Let's do that and let's make those one centimeters. So let's say that's one centimeters, two centimeters, three centimeters, four centimeters in there. So this is gonna be one centimeter to one centimeter. Okay, so that's kind of one to one right there. Now I need to start from, so this is south. So I'm going south and 100 um, east. All right, so I'm going to be moving and shifting now 100. So that's 90 plus 10. So I'm going to be going all the way from here. So it's from the south and I'm going to be moving east in the east direction. So this would have been 90 degrees. And then I got to shift it over another 10 degrees. So it's going to be looking somewhere within here. All right, so that's going to be my line. I'll remove it in a moment. So that's about 10, 10, uh, 10 degrees in there. So 90 plus 10, so that's 100. That's gonna be my direction. Now four centimeters. Oh, okay, so this is gonna be a long one. Um, so let's maybe take a different color in here. So four, I'm gonna do all the way over here. So that's four. And now I'm gonna shift it along right there. Okay, and then bring it back. Okay, and there we go. So that's my vector, which is going to be mapped out onto. Okay, so there we go. I guess I don't need all of this. Okay, so that's in terms of cleaning it up. Actually, I'm sorry, you know, I should probably put it in here. 
that's 100 degrees right there. All right. And I guess that is my vector. This would have been S. Let's not forget to label it. I think I forgot to label the second one, but that's what we would have for this one. And then the last one, so that's going to be this. So how will this one look like? So it's three. So this is an acceleration, um, three meters per second squared. So again, I can just map it on. So let me clean it up. All right, so that's that. And now one centimeter. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up. So I'm going to make this one centimeter is equal to one meter second squared. So mapping it onto acceleration there, it's three of them. So three spots over, there we go. And it is 135, so that's 90. Okay, that's okay. So that means it's 90 plus 45. So we're going from the horizontal, so that means we're gonna go counterclockwise. So in this direction right there, 135 degrees. And actually, so this is going to be, um, let's put that in there. So 135, so it's gonna be, again, right there. That's what we would have. I gotta bring this one over. So let's bring it over, rotate it through, and bring it down. There we go. Okay, there you have it. So that's how you can actually graph your various vectors if you're gonna be doing a geometric um, kind of a, a vector graphing on these with respect to some kind of a reference. So either a true bearing, quadrant bearing, or horizontal reference. So I hope this gives you some kind of an idea on how to approach these. You can, of course, if you're doing it by pen and pencil, which is what, how we used to do it in the old days, then you can literally, it's actually a little bit easier because you can use your ruler and then your scales. So these particular scales that we have right here, you know, you can actually map it out on your ruler and it's much easier to do that. Okay. Thanks for watching and we will see you in a future video. Okay. Happy studying. Bye everybody.